Dear students, what are the key points as far as atrophic rhinitis is concerned? So when we talk about atrophic rhinitis, the organism that is causing it is the Klebsiella ozinii. The other important points as far as atrophic rhinitis is concerned is a roomy nasal cavity. So what do you understand by the term roomy nasal cavity? You are able to see the superior turbinate or the roof of the nasal cavity on anterior rhinoscopy. So what do these patients usually present with? They present with nasal obstruction and this is most often due to the crusting in the nasal cavity. They come with anosmia, more predominantly or more famously it is known as merciful anosmia. The patient is not able to have any sensation of smell but the bystanders or the people surrounding the patient complaining of a very foul smell from the patient. So merciful anosmia is the second important problem that can happen and all this happens because of atrophy of the turbinates, atrophy of the mucosa and atrophy of the nerve endings in atrophic rhinitis. If you look closely in this image as well, the turbinates are significantly atrophied. So how do you treat atrophic rhinitis? You have a sodium bicarbonate biborate solution which can be used. You have glucose and glycerin drops. There are multiple medical lines of management. Other than that, there is chemiacetin ozene solution which can be used. But if you are looking at a surgical option, you are looking at modified Young's operation. So when we talk about modified Young's operation, this surgery is done preserving a 3 millimeter opening of the vestibule and the rest of the nasal cavity is closed for a period of 6 months to 1 year allowing the nasal cavity to regenerate by itself. What is the drug of choice as far as this disorder is concerned? It is usually fluoroquinolones that is ciprofloxacin or ofloxacin is the drug of choice in this condition.